a situation where you can't run. Yeah. Where you gonna go? You you can't go nowhere but stand on the bridge. That's that's his whole image of the beast that he's making up. A complete system of control that you can't escape out of, but you have to be a part of the system to uh, to survive. But this is why we're calling saying repent for the kingdom is at hand for the heavenly father is your way out he's your protection he's with where you get your food from he's where you get your safety from you want to say something yeah um a lot of these victims from the uh from the hurricane yep. a lot of those victims that ended up dead wow. they were more than likely living off the grid yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. they were living in areas where they didn't have to live off the system yep. Yep. they got they got flushed out God. yeah y'all see what That's this what devil is doing yeah, yeah. Right. and it just suck it and then a year like last yep. year and yep. the year before yeah. you had all these uh, train derailments yeah. and yeah. all these chemical spills yeah. they, and, and they happen in areas where people are are, 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 are living in rural areas yeah. where they don't have to be a part of the grid exactly. they're trying to move everybody uh, and condense yeah. these areas into into these cities because yeah. that's where the control is going to be because all this biometric technology is being developed through these cities this was the this was the answer wicked had this was the answer to these tiny homes and living off the grid a lot of people was buying a plot of land in the middle of nowhere and building a tiny home on it all this is just enough for us to Shit. sustain life you just well, had to um you could buy the tiny home off Amazon or, or website and just put it together exactly yourself yourself like Legos now man yeah, we'll up little all that out, though. Yeah. You see what they got in China. They got the tiny homes stacked yep. on top of each other. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, like that movie, uh, oh, uh, Ready Player... Uh, 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 Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, during the shutdown, they went around pretty much every major city in the world installing uh, oh, these towers, man. These, you know, these high... Uh, uh, I don't even know frequency frequency towers yeah. everywhere in every city man so while while everybody was at home you know scared <laughs> they were they were making moves man they were they were moving around <laughs> yeah. yeah they somehow they were the only ones that were able to go out and work you know freely without no mass i got something in america they're just using hurricanes instead of bombs, or they're using fires instead of bombs. They use things that can be blamed on, quote, natural disasters, but it's the same exact effect. They burn, they bulldoze the place, and then they build back the city that they want, which is a police state if you're not Israeli. In America, they're just using hurricanes instead of bombs, or they're using fires instead of bombs. They use things that can be blamed on, quote, natural disasters, but it's the same exact effect they burn out the town or they flood out the town they come in with bulldozers and they're going to build a, a fence around whatever section that they want to claim as a 15-minute city and then you won't be allowed in there it'll be declared a disaster zone you won't be able to get in and i had to tweet this out today listen to this incoming intel fema is waiving ungodly amounts of money at private security firms right now begging for security contractors to station at Florida to prevent Floridians returning to their homes and businesses after the storm hits. You understand what I'm saying here? These security teams are being hired, you know, to keep people out, to make sure you can't go back. The evacuation orders are to push people out of Florida and keep them out. Reportedly, Delta Force personnel advising FEMA at the top, devising denial of area enforcement plans, which will be enforced at gunpoint if required. I'm told FEMA is practically panicked to get enough armed personnel on site, anticipating a tremendous amount of resistance from displaced people who want to return home to salvage whatever they can. This is the next step up the escalation ladder as the federal government wages war against the American people, as we saw FEMA carrying out in North Carolina, actively hindering rescue efforts to maximize starvation and death. To the people, do not escalate. And I'm repeating that here. Do not escalate this. Do not engage. This brand new rental community in Tempe has all the amenities, fitness center, dog park, outdoor kitchens, but something's missing. So there are no cars in this community at all. Isn't it great? 
cul-de-sac is the first community in the U.S. designed and built specifically for car-free living. Co-founder yeah, Ryan Johnson the says the demand uh, is strong. Every generation, and including 92% of Gen Z, would like to pay more to live in a walkable neighborhood. Retail, restaurants, and to start nearly 200 apartments, all within steps of each other. No cars means no parking spaces, no garages. Because we don't have residential parking, it opens us up to have 55% landscape space. and We get to add so much to the neighborhood. Like social spaces around every corner. The complex is strategically located right next to the area's light rail system. All residents get a free pass. The first 200 also get a free electric e-bike. City is an urban planning concept where everyday necessities are easily reachable within a 15-minute walk or a 15-minute bike ride. This concept can promote more green spaces, but it can also decrease carbon emissions. From an environmental standpoint, one of the biggest pieces is that if we're driving less, we're putting less carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, we're slowing the pace at which we're changing the climate that we have to um, Live with. Dr. Wynne Everham, a professor at the Water School at FGCU, knows a thing or two about creating a usable space. And I think most good 15-minute city approaches include a significant amount of green space um, within walking distance because we're finding out that... Uh, this原来是不用疑惑我来给你们解答这个问题我现在在外面我然后我进去了进去就正常刷脸就可以了变成通过就进来了嘛我真的进来了然后没有人管我现在看再绕出去以前哪敢呢<笑> 不行迫不及待了快看这是另一个炸鸡变成通过又出去了这回信了吧现在能出来先过来上个公厕再可以人脸识别扫码请正式服务请您出直接出纸现在出门上厕所都不用带纸了真方便了请面向屏幕开始刷脸请确认之后